What is up YouTube? Welcome back to part 15 of my Tales of Berseria gameplay. In the last part, Aizen ran off after Zavi, and now we are going to same. <sighs> What's wrong, Lafayette? I was just wondering why Aizen and Zavid can't work together to find Eifried. All men their age care about is their reputation, their street cred. Such a hassle. Oh. Really? Well, I can't fully deny it. <sighs> the same could be said of women, and of everyone, really. It's hard to work alongside someone unless you strive to understand their thoughts and feelings. And if you can't? Well, um... It's like Zavid said. You start talking with your fists instead. Sounds harder than I thought. Won't that one shoot? 
that bentite I just got is pretty cool. So I won't have to completely split, uh, spend three glass gauges every time I do a mystic art. rainbows. This is one of the seven wonders of the world, the Burnack Geyser. The water heats up from underground until the pressure forces it to spray up from the surface. And the rainbows are caused by light reflecting from the salt suspended in the mineral water. It took tens of thousands of years for the minerals to accumulate here and form this phenomenon. Wow-wee! That was very educational. At least you know plenty of trivia, if nothing else. Additionally, the groundwater veins that feed this geyser are connected to the sea. Because of this, every now and then a boiled octopus or crab will shoot out from the geyser! No way! That's impossible! Well, not impossible, but with the salt content of the geyser's water, I bet they're seasoned to perfection. Mogulo, I'm declaring your bizarre imagination the eighth wonder of the world. People say that all the time. <sighs> Did you get the medicine to the ship's crew? Yeah. Good. My thanks to you. These soldiers won't be happy in the morning, but they're alive. Is this your work? No. They were like this when I got here. It must have been Zavid. He didn't kill a single one. Interesting. The Abbey is going to great lengths to arrest him. Even so, he clearly knows he's walking into a trap. What I don't get is why he roped me into all of this. If he didn't want my help, 
Then what need did he have to play the Eifried card on me? If you knew this was a trap, why did you come? To see for myself. When I met Eifried, I was wallowing in despair that I would ever find a way to break the Reaper's curse. Stop denying reality, he told me. If you were really born with that curse, then it's a part of you. But if the Reaper learns to grasp the wheel of his life, even he may find his creed, his path through stormy waters. And so, I joined him aboard the Von Eltia. A creed of life. Let's say someone's murdered the captain. If it came as the result of him living life on his terms, I could accept that. <sighs> but if anyone, and I mean anyone, tries to crush his way of life, I could never forgive them. Who's there? It's rude to eavesdrop. If you got secrets, talk about them at home. Zavid, isn't there any way you and Aizen can work together somehow? Not if he's going to keep acting like this. <laughs> he said at the same time. Well, that's how it is. What was the point of all that posturing? He could have just stayed hidden. Weirdo. Can't disagree there. Loringen Tower is a training ground for exorcists, right? Yes. It's a great edifice built on ancient ruins. Luffy said, did you ever go there when you were tethered to Teresa? I don't really remember the beginning of my service to Teresa. I see. What sort of training do they do there? Exorcists are tested and assigned Malachim equivalent to their aptitude with mana. It's also where they practice Malak arts and study our laws. So the lower ranks use it as a sparring ground in order to train up to the higher ranks? No, an exorcist's affinity to mana is not something that strengthens through training. We are given Malakim based on our inborn ability, then learn arts to suit that ability. So, an orderly is an orderly for life, then? Correct. There'd be no spirit of competition, then. Don't they want to get stronger to advance through the ranks? There'd be no purpose to advancement. Rank signifies nothing more than the type and number of Malakim one can tether. People join the Abbey for only two reasons. To protect people from demons, and to save the world. Are all of you that dedicated to asceticism? How sickeningly noble of you. I wonder if your wills are suppressed just like those of the Malakim you use. Deviants like you could never possibly understand our motives. In any case, that is who awaits you at Loringen Tower. So we're in for a rough welcome. I say bring it on. I can't wrap my head around Zavid. Hmm. We witnessed his unwillingness to kill before, but it seems he's quite serious about it. Maybe that's why I don't feel scared of him. Even when he and Aizen were about to fight, I didn't feel tense at all. Perhaps that's just because you've been around Velvet a bit too long, kiddo. Next to her, few people are frightening. Do you think so? Don't ask me. <laughs> he doesn't come across as vicious. I think that's why you're not scared. Because he's just a brawler? <laughs> Maybe he's just naive. Okay, so he's just a naive brawler. He's still involved with Eifried's disappearance. And he's also taking on the Abbey. I just don't get him. Me neither. Uh-huh. I agree, but I don't understand any of you either. I don't get it. Get what? Why did Eifried let Aizen join his ship, knowing he carried the Reaper's curse with him? What good did it do? I just don't see the reason behind it. Well, if it were me who had that curse, it would mean that you and Velvet could die because of it, right? Yeah, I suppose so. 
If that's the case, then I'd feel like I'd both want to and not want to be close to you two. And I'd probably really, really hate myself for it. Do you suppose that's how Aizen feels? But Eifried still took him in. He agreed they put up with the curse together. It's all a bit hard to fathom. Well, if one thing's for certain, it sounds like Eifried's a very strong man. At least for a base lawless pirate. Is there a way to get down there? Okay, there's a cave. So there's probably a path somewhere. I can fight too! to Eifried, didn't it? I've read much of the Abbey's archives and weaponry, but I've never seen anything like it. He found it when we crossed to the far continent. It's a relic from a long-vanished civilization. He's like me and can't resist a good treasure. But of everything we've found, that one was his most prized. What is it? I can't say. It seemed like a weapon, but Eifried wouldn't let anyone touch it. He went off and tested it on his own. Then came back all grinning, saying he had an ace up his sleeve the next time we got into a fight. Then it's definitely some sort of ancient combat device? But why is Zavid looking for Eifried? To apologize for stealing it? He doesn't seem like that much of a gentleman. Did he really steal it? What do you mean? It's just my feeling, but... Zavid doesn't seem like the type of Moloch to steal something so precious. He said he just picked it up. Perhaps he's trying to return it. Perhaps.
Scout ship setting sail. That's interesting.
looks like this area serves no other purpose than to just put treasures and stuff. Since these are also separate places, I'm guessing the um, cat spirits spawn, which means it would be a good place to uh, arm those. not bothering to hide this trap. They probably knew we'd sense it. The question now is just what they're planning to spring on us. Oh. 
Aizen, when and how did Ifri disappear exactly? And how did you two meet in the first place? You know, you ask an awful lot of questions about us. What? I don't mean to pry, really. Perhaps it's a habit I picked up from my work. Drat, it seems I've been digging too hard. No matter. Ifrid vanished about a year ago. <sighs> he agreed to fight a duel against someone, and secretly left to meet his opponent. Once we figured out what was happening, we rushed to the scene. But all we found was the aftermath of a fight, and a pendulum. Was Zavid his opponent? Given his choice of weapon and his ability to fight, I'd say it's likely. What I don't get is why Eifried would end up captured and imprisoned by the Abbey after a fight with a stray Moloch. The Abbey had him prisoner? On their island. Until an exorcist named Melchior took him away, that is. What? Lord Melchior did? The Abbey would have captured Eifried about a year ago. Surely it must have caused quite a stir. I was simply patrolling. I wasn't involved in any such operations. Oh, but I do remember that we suffered a great number of casualties around that time. I never heard why, and when I went to investigate, I found no records of any major deployment. And then I was ordered to cease any such investigation by Lord Melchior. That's fishy. He wanted to hide something clearly, and I think I'm starting to get a picture of what it was. And... It involves the Abbey? side now. Eifried. So, this is Von Eifried. Eisen, it's good to see you again. So you're alive. You could have sent a letter. <laughs> when have you ever written a letter to another man? <laughs> True. Aside from my little brother, not even once. Your brother? Ah, yes. You told me that once. Eisen, <gasps> why? I've got no brother. He has a sister, not a brother. Enough of your tricks! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for luring him out. I owe you one. Zavid. 
Now come on out, you old coot! Lord Melchior. Breaking through my double illusion. Impressive. I'm making a point not to fall for the same tricks twice. I shouldn't have let you get away last time. I won't make that mistake again. Why am I here? Her consciousness has returned, so that is its power. He turned her into a demon. What? This can't be happening. <laughs> A chain reaction. Your Reaper's curse is quite the dreadful affliction, isn't it? Don't you run away! Heads up! Wyvern's coming! This is her. Strategy back. Balance. Why would an exorcist create a demon? Hey, worry about that later. We've got damn dragons to take care of. <laughs> Like you got caught in your own trap, old man. Oh, are you sure about that? What the? 
I'll take care of the last one. Jump in and kill without a second thought! Is that your creed? Marvelous. Your Siegfried is just the power I've been looking for. What? My work here is done. The hell did you do? Wait, damn you! Follow them! Where the hell did they go? Find them. They can't have gotten far. If only I could just jump down. Sure got some speedy legs for an old fart. I'm glad to see you're okay, Zavid. It's not me that I'm worried about. Melchior was highly interested in your weapon. And yet he didn't steal it. Surely a legate like him could snatch it if he wanted to. Why bother stealing it? When you can just copy its hidden formula. Some arts can decipher the workings of other arts in a split second. And guess what Melchior's specialty is? As he left, he said, My work here is done. The Abbey must have some use for that unknown art. Who knows what? After all, they brought it here from another continent. <laughs> then we'll find out what they're after and crush it to dust. Let me ask you just one question. Why do you have Siegfried? I'm counting on you, he said. Back when I served the Exorcists. They sent me on a mission to capture Eifried. Savid, you were once their slave? Yeah. My mind was under the influence of Inominat's domain. But when Eifried aimed this baby at me, one shot was all it took to open my eyes. The fight we had after that was one for the books. <laughs> he might have been a human, but that guy was a beast. Put a song in my soul. But then Melchior had to jump in and spirit Eifried away with one of his damned illusions. That old bastard! Playing tricks with people's minds. But why'd he grab Eifried and not Siegfried when he had the chance? He probably didn't know at the time that this guy was the real prize he was after. But Eifried knew. 
Right before he was taken, he distracted Melchior long enough to hand Siegfried over to me. <sighs> well, that's all I know. Whether you believe me or not, is up to you. Got it. We're done here. Huh? That was easy. Eifried only says I'm counting on you to people he trusts. Is that so? So, what are you gonna do now? Gotta keep looking for Eifried. Still gotta give this back and settle our score. I doubt you have much time left to get that done. I'd hazard a guess that until now, Melchior was unaware what Siegfried could really do. In other words, he and the exorcists weren't able to interrogate anything out of their captive. And now that Eifried's no longer needed, I see no reason for them to keep him alive. You think I don't know that? If you really want to save Eifried, you probably ought to team up with us. Nope. No can do. Why not? You lot will do anything to achieve your goals. Even kill. <gasps> Sorry, I'm a fighter, not a killer. I won't steal a single life. That's just my creed. And I've got no intention of changing our pirate creed, either. Aizen and Zavid have their own creeds. They both have such strong principles, even though they're so different. Just like humans. Well, that was sure something. Melchior and his illusions are cheats. There's no cheating in combat. What I meant is that they were awfully dirty tricks for an upstanding exorcist. And the illusions seemed so real. Had that gone on any longer, I wouldn't have been able to tell what was real and what was fake. If it can't be distinguished from reality, perhaps one could live a happier life within the illusion. Hmm. That sort of happiness can rot. You think so? But by using illusions, you can defeat an opponent without causing them any physical harm. Oh, how humane. Wow, the Abbey is so great. Lord Melchior is an exemplary man who has served Lord Artorias since before the Abbey's founding. He's done everything from logistical planning to defense strategy and even political negotiations. He shows the utmost concern, even for his opponents, so... He turned a friendly Moloch into a dragon. Th that was... Physical wounds can heal. Emotional wounds never fully fade. Yeah, but... Don't lose heart, Eleanor. Foul play is foul play, but you're talking to a demon and a witch. Who can judge? I appreciate that you're trying to console me, but as an exorcist, I cannot accept this. Take a look at this. Scout ship setting... This way first. I'm just gonna grab some of these cat spirits before I head back to the Van Altia.
If only I had a way to cross caps. I'm pretty sure that it's something you learn with a wind mollock. That's in that demo they had some example of crossing caps using a whirlwind. I smelled someone pondering. What's on your mind, Lafayette? I know Siegfried comes from another continent and all, but do you know anything else about it, Ropero? Nope, can't say I do. All I care about are swords. That contraption doesn't interest me much. I suppose that makes sense. But it looked real powerful. Just guessing based on how we saw Zavid use it, I'd say it amplifies his power somehow. An amplifier. It's true that he seemed to get stronger when he fired it at himself. Yeah, and it gave that dying legendary wyvern enough strength to escape. But wasn't it also what he used to dispel Melchior's illusions back there? That was also amplification. The Malachim are the source of his arts. The relic pushed them past their limits and... kablooey! Suffice it to say, it can be used both offensively and defensively. It must be very hard to master. More important is what the Abbey plans to do with it. Not that I really care. Um, Laffy said? May I ask you something? What is it? The girl with the umbrella from Lord Melchior's illusion. What is her connection to Aizen? I don't think he'd answer if I asked him myself. I don't know. I was wondering about her as well. 
She was pretty, wasn't she? Oh, so you like a girl who's cute, but with a bit of sophistication. Really? I thought his type was more like vel- Ah! Uh, shh! What's going on? We were discussing a delicate topic. Muffy said's first crush, if you must know. Oh. No, we weren't. We were just talking about the Umbrella Girl from the Illusion. The Umbrella Girl. That illusion made Aizen hesitate. She must be really important to him. Indeed. It must be a deep, naughty relationship. Come on, now. Like, a wife he wants to leave, but he can never let go. Or a lover from whom he can't move on. No, that's too wild. And she's too young. Yeah, it's not that. What's more likely for a self-serving pirate is... A daughter from a woman who only knows him by a fake name. Perhaps one whom he cast aside, or who cast him aside! And maybe she was somebody he couldn't marry for some reason. But when she died, he raised her daughter for her. He had been friends with her since they were children. But they only realized their true feelings after they had been married to someone else! Is this their idea of romance? In any case, beware of girls, Luffy said. Right. Oh man, their uh, imagination runs really wild. It's just Aizen's sister, guys. I wonder if um, whoever finds out. gonna do what's wrong this dog came up with the book in its mouth here take a look huh it looks pretty old I've never seen this kind of writing before it's not ancient Avarost that's for sure 
Part of it looks like a chronology, so maybe it's a history book? If I were to guess, I'd say they're Meliodasian characters, which would peg it at about 2,000 years old. It's more recent than Avarost, but the writing has fallen completely out of use. All kinds of notes are written throughout the book, too. Someone must have been studying it. If it's research material, that might make it Videl's book. Videl? Who's that? He's a weird kid who's way into studying history. He lives at the inn. Could you maybe deliver the book to him for us? We were told not to get too close to him, so... Yeah, sure. I guess. Oh. That boy, I'm pretty sure it's uh, the same voice actor as Beat from uh, Eternal Sonata. My book! My book! Where could I have left it? Are you Videl? Is this yours? My book! Oh, that book is super important to me. Thank you. Uh... I'm Lafayette. I hope you don't mind that we flipped through some of it. Can you actually read Meliodasian script? You recognize Meliodasian writing? That's unusual in this day and age. Oh, it's not that big of a deal, really. When I grow up, I want to be an adventurer who travels the world and explores lots of ruins. So to make sure I'm ready for anything, I've been studying ancient history, starting with the Era of Darkness. The Era of Darkness? You're referring to the Dark Period, right? Right. Almost no written records from the age have survived. But if you compare the history before and after, you can tell something major must have happened. Wow, that's fascinating. I know! Look at those two, all worked up over an old fuck. My little brother was just like that too. Luffy and our brother used to. <sighs> We've received reports of suspicious persons in the area. Have you seen anything? Not good. They're onto us. Quickly, hide in my house. Videl, have you seen anyone suspicious recently? Sorry, sir. I've been absorbed in my book. That's all right. Thanks. Look, I know it must be tough living alone with your mom. Just remember, your father's a praetor. He's out there fighting to protect us all. Keep your chin up for his sake at least, all right? Uh-huh. Thanks for your help, Videl. Videl, your father is an exorcist? Yeah, he is. But don't worry, I won't say anything about you and your friends. I'm your friend too! Really? And to prove it, I'll let everyone in on a big secret. This book tells you how to make an Omega Elixir, an incredibly ancient and powerful medicine. If I'm reading it right, you need five ingredients in order to create the elixir. I've only translated one of them so far, but I'll tell you what it is. That's really nice of you, Videl. But I don't have any way to repay you for this. Oh, please, think nothing of it. I'd just like it if you came and talked with me again sometime. Of course. What are friends for? The Omega Elixir. That's an ancient medicine said to be able to cure any disease. But it was my understanding that no samples or recipes survived the Era of Darkness. Meliodasian script was used prior to the Era of Darkness, so I guess it's possible that Videl's recipe might be legit. He's just a kid. I don't know how much we can trust his translation. You saw his notes. I doubt many adults could even get anything out of that book. He might be onto something. Kids are more capable than we give them credit for, especially where their interests lie. I think we can trust Fidel. Luffy used to read books intently like that, too. Furthermore, couldn't a hypothetical Omega Elixir be quite useful to you, Velvet? Luffy said, 
You look like you really want to track down those ingredients. Yeah, I do. Personally, I don't really care. But if you want to look for them, I won't stop you. Okay. says that there's one treasure chest in the area. Check that over here. Oh hey, the one with the card game is back. Big storm came and swept me out to a class four island. And let me tell you, it's as bad as the rumors make it sound. I wanted to just wait it out in a shipyard somewhere, but then the water turned all gooey. Then I had these jellyfish things coming onto the deck, and before I knew it, slugs were swimming around in the damn ocean. Wouldn't the salt in seawater mess up a slug? Yeah, that's what I thought too, but these weren't no sea slugs neither. It was scary, I'll tell you that much. You want my advice? Stay the hell away from that island altogether. But if you do go, watch out for that gooey stuff. What did that pirate mean by Class 4? I've never heard of that. It's a classification the Abbey uses to help inform their strategy, an estimation of how well they've been able to manage the demon outbreak in an area. Administrative zone classes 1 through 3 have been assigned a suitable contingent of exorcists to guarantee the population's safety. So, Class 4 administrative zones are ones that are still unsafe? In a perfect world, the entire kingdom would be protected, but there's just not enough manpower to go around. The Abbey doesn't send exorcists to remote areas in far-off islands. Instead, they avoid casualties by making those areas off-limits. But that pirate mentioned he'd come close to an island. Are those policies actually enforced? They send out an official notice to stay away, and that's all. It's not like they could blockade every tiny remote island out there. So you're free to dive into the deep end if you want, but no one will come to your rescue. Hope you know how to swim. If they could keep the demons in check, they wouldn't have to tell people to stay clear. Frankly, I think the Abbey just doesn't want to go near places like that. In other words, these are dangerous places that the Abbey has washed their hands of. Makes you wonder how much they can administrate these places when they're not willing to get their hands dirty. Are there many Class 4 administrative zones? I've heard of 10 such regions in my time working as an inspector for the Abbey, but I'm afraid I couldn't tell you their exact locations or their current status. If the Abbey abandoned this island, it's probably safe to assume that it's getting to be pretty dangerous. If we go there, we're gonna wanna be prepared. D 
demons. There's more of them. A whole band of them rampaging through Warg Forest. There was already one dangerous demon in those woods, and now we have more, and they're still on the loose. A lot of exorcists have come to deal with them, but... What do these demons look like? That's what I want to know. Those Abbey people won't tell us nothing. Every time a demon comes around, it's all, show us your cargo this, and don't leave port for a while that. How are we supposed to catch any fish? These demons really are a pain in the neck. If I was an exorcist, I'd lay down some justice, I tell ya. At the end of the day, it's not the demons or the exorcists that have it rough. It's us normal folk. Anyway, you guys should be careful. There are demons about. Thanks for the warning. First mate! You're all right! Sorry to worry you. And the captain? It turned out to be a fake. But now I know the real one's still alive somewhere. Well, of course he is. Not that he has a lot of time left. What do you mean? Calm down. I'll explain later. Aizen! E you stay calm too, okay? <laughs> and you've all taken your salatoma? Yes, sir. And nobody died? All still kicking. Compared to your curse, sir, this sickness was tiny potatoes. All right. Then let's get ready to sail out. Already done, sir. We're ready whenever. <laughs> <sighs> the Pirate's Creed, huh? There's worse out there. Okay, so I'm gonna end things here for now, and I'll continue on to the next area um, in my next video. I think we're gonna be going after Grimoire, or going back on our search for Grimoire. So, uh, yeah, this has been part 15 of my Tales of Berseria gameplay. If you like this video, be sure to give it a like, subscribe to my channel, and stay up to date on content like this when it's released. Um, if you want to play this game for yourself, I'll have in the video description below an Amazon affiliate link for the PS4 version of the game. If you want to play this game on PC, you can find it on the Steam Store page. And, um, uh,. Yeah, so uh, also linked in the video description below will be a group channel that my friends and I manage. It's called Bronze Theory and we post videos on Legends, Overwatch, and other games from time to time. Uh, lately my friend has been streaming Neo uh, on the channel, so go check that out if you're interested. So until next time, see ya.